Hi everyone, it's Beth. And today I wanted to show you how easy it is to use Bancor.network. Uh, but first, let me remind you, I am not a financial advisor. So everything I say here is only my opinion. So please take the time, do your own due diligence, and then remember to never invest anything that you are unwilling to lose. Okay, so now I wanted to just talk a moment about Bancor.network in case you're not familiar with it, because it's really cool. So um, it's really easy to use and I like it very, very much. Um, I have been using this for a couple of weeks um, on my mobile device as uh, part of the, I um, have been accessing it through the Trust Wallet. Um, I think you can actually download just uh, a Bancor.network um, also, but it works really well with my Trust Wallet and that is how I have been doing it. But today I wanted to just take a couple minutes and um, talk a bit about the platform and then I'm going to make a trade so that you can, or actually I'm going to convert some tokens so that you can see how easy that is to do. Because you aren't actually making trades here on Bancor.network. They're not matching you, if you're trying to buy a token, they're not matching you with a seller. This is an autonomous liquidity network. So. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to click on, this is just, um, Bancor.network. It's Bancor.network slash discover. This is kind of the, this is the main page. Whenever you load this, uh, you can see that the top, um, the top token here, this is Bancor. And if you click a token and this works for any token that is available on the network. Um, and this is, it's an Ethereum uh, based network. So if you are interested in acquiring or converting uh, one ERC-20 token for another, you can definitely use this platform. And it, again, it is very easy to use. I will show you that in just a moment. But um, here is, this is just some price information about the Bancor token. Um, over here, if we move over to about, this gives you some background information about um, about the network, about the, to about the token, just about everything that is going on here. And this, happens to be about Bancor because I want to show it to you, but you can do this for any token that they have listed here. They have an about section. So it is really a nice place to come. You can learn about your, you can learn about the tokens. And um, of course, then you can take advantage of the liquidity of, um, of the network and convert those tokens without, you don't have to sign up for anything. You can sign up for Bancor.network, but you don't have to sign up for anything. This is just all done through smart contracts. So very cool stuff. So like I said, it is a decentralized liquidity network. So every token can be instantly converted for any other token that's on the network. And this is done on chain and it is completely decentralized, like I said. And um, that, so it, it'll just convert tokens uh, convert between tokens that are within the network. And it's pretty cheap to do. And it is, like I said, it, it is an autonomous network. So there's no one, you know, who's having to step in and be a middleman. There's no centralization here. This is really, it's a pretty cool system. So I definitely just wanted to, to highlight it for you today. All right. So BNT, that is the Bancor network token. And um, this is the the token that really serves as the connector point between all the um, tokens in the Bancor network. So that's what allows them to be convertible uh, to each other thanks to, the thanks to their liquidity to BNT. So BNT holds a connector balance in ETH, making all the network's tokens convertible to and from ETH, as well as any other token in the network. So then they have um, smart tokens. So the Bancor protocol standardizes a new type of token that is natively liquid. So these smart tokens are ERC-20 token compliant, or I'm sorry, they're ERC-20 compliant, and they hold one or more connector token balance in their smart contracts. The smart contract can be bought and sold for any other connector token and can, um, and can issue new tokens when purchased while destroying units that are sold. So by holding a shared connector to token balance in BNT, smart tokens in the Bancor network are all purchasable and sellable for each other. 
these conversions happen directly through the smart contract, smart token contracts and continue at continuously calculated rates without needing to match buyers and sellers in a traditional or even decentralized exchange. So that's pretty cool. Um, if there are tokens that were, say, predating uh, Bancor, they have um, something called token relays, which um, adds a second connection point so that you can, um, you are able to use those older tokens. Um, this shows how that would work by using a, a bank or uh, engine, I think is what this one is, um, relay token, and then moving directly into engine. So, um, and then this talks about how the automatic pricing works. And, and this is all done autonomously. You know, they, they just have, it's, it's a part of the smart contract. So um, if you want to learn more about this, come read this. It is very nice. Um, but today I am over here to buy some Vitrova because I bought some the other day and the price has gone down a little bit. So I'm, as the market has come down entirely, I actually don't know if the price came down in relation to ETH, but in any case, um, I'm still expecting Vitrova to be uh, listed on two exchanges. It has announced that they're going to be listed on both costs and coin exchange and prior to that happening i'm going to acquire a little bit more so i'm just going to come over here i'm going to type it you can see they have a relay for it or the actual token i'm just going to choose the token um it's going to take me over here and i can come i can find out about the token just like you can with bank or like i said you can do this with all of the tokens that are available here so um, this is just a really cool site. I like it a whole lot. I'm really glad I found it. So there you go. I wanted to share it with you. All right. So now I'm just going to come over here. You can see the price is down today. This is still under half a cent. So um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to use MetaMask um, just because I have my MetaMask available. So this is very cool. Um, if you have, if you use the Bancor wallet, it is frictionless in wallet conversions between any tokens. Uh, there is, it's mobile friendly and you can log in from any device. I have my MetaMask wallet is also um, imported into my trust wallet. So that's, it's easy for me to just use the same wallet on both my PC and on my mobile device. If you haven't used the trust wallet, by the way, on Android, it is also very, very nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna buy a half an ETH worth of, I'm gonna convert a half an ETH, uh, a half an ETH into Fitcherova tokens and it's gonna be really easy, watch. So um, there it is, there's, I, I am, I'm, I'm getting some price slippage because there isn't that much liquidity here. Um, with Fitrova, it is a very small token. So I'm okay with that though. All right, this is really it. I'm gonna hit next. It's going to tell me what the price is gonna be, what the estimated transaction fee is. So the transaction fees are a little bit high, but you're not having to give up all sorts of information. Oh my goodness. I signed up for Cryptos to, so that I can go buy some token pay. They want like all the information, all the information in the world. So I'm really, really moving more towards decentralized options. And this one is even better than decentralized. This is just all autonomous. So very cool, but it is just a little bit pricey. So just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna proceed here. It's gonna pop me up a MetaMask notification, which I can confirm and that will be it. So there you go. That's it. The transaction is in process. I can view it on Etherscan and I will just, you know, there it is. It's pending. So as soon as the confirmations happen, I will see those tokens show up in my MetaMask. Um, of course, if I want to actually view them in my MetaMask, you do have to um, add the, t the contract address, much like you do with many tokens, but um, you will have to in order, if you want to view and interact with them on your MetaMask, you will have to add the, the contract address, but if you just want to see what's going on, you of course can just check in on your tokens by using a block explorer like ETH, uh, like ETHplorer or Etherscan. So there you go. That's it. It's Bancor.network. It is 
really a nice place to get information about ERC20 tokens and also to, to take advantage of some very simple, it was like two clicks. I mean, it was really, really easy. So that's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did find it to be helpful, then please do leave a like. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section. And as always, I'd like to thank you very much for your time and I will see you next time.